previously on Project Zomboid. It's 11.20, so we got a bit of time to go into town. We're still keeping our eye out for a meat cleaver. Lots of zombies to be killed down here, uh, so we'll just uh, try not to draw too much attention. Oh, there's another gunshot. That's taking people south as well. This might be actually a good time to try and check out the storage units. There are a lot down here. Hmm, so we'll have to, we'll have to be careful, but I think uh, this might be the time to go for it. Alright, so we've got three on this side to check. I'm thinking of just going in through the, uh, the walls here. Uh, medium pallet of MREs, hell yeah. We're taking that. Uh, we'll take the pumpkin seeds. I see a steel pipe down there, nice. I think we'll call it, call it here. We're pretty full anyway. Hello everyone, my name is Nomis and welcome back to another episode of Project Zomboid. We are picking up here a little while after our last episode. We are currently at April 11th, which puts us at, let's see here, uh, almost uh, just a few days shy of eight months survived on this playthrough. Things are continuing to go fairly well. I'm just going to show you uh, all the work I've done in between episodes here. It's mostly been uh, been working on the wall here. As you can see, we've got uh, the wall extended all the way down there. Uh, we've actually almost completed the whole south side of the wall now. We've just got a little section left, and I've started on the corner there. So making good progress there. Might be done it a little bit sooner than I anticipated. Uh, but yeah, things are going good on the wall. Um, as you can see, our character is quite tired. JT has been uh, pulling a couple all-nighters working on that wall. Uh, so we're probably going to have a short uh, day today. I think we have some crops that we can harvest. Uh, so we'll take a look at that. I think they're, the tomatoes are ready to harvest, so we can probably grab those and make ourselves some more tomato juice. And uh, we'll figure out uh, a couple more things to do. Uh, we'll probably be heading to bed pretty early today. Okay, yeah, it looks like we've got four crops of potatoes to harvest here. And they are at the seed bearing phase. Just open up our skill tab here. Oh, before we do that, maybe we should uh, see if we have uh, the export carpentry, or export uh, farming book. We should read, maybe we should read that today. So we can get that XP boost. Let's hop back here. Take a look at our bookshelf. I assume we have it. Expert farming, there we go. Let's go ahead and read this. Just fast forward time. And I'll cut back once he's completed his read and we'll harvest those tomato plants. There we go, we finished reading that book. Took us the rest of the day. Uh, so we've now got a 12 multiplier. Going towards our next level of farming. Let's go ahead and harvest. Actually, we've got uh, some seed bearing uh, broccoli now, too. So we'll go ahead and harvest this crop. Yeah, we got 390 XP for that. All right, I, actually, I'm not sure if that is 390. Let's see what we get from the second one. Oh, yeah, that's about 390. 683 now. Some big XP gains. Go ahead and harvest this. And this, about 48 tomato seeds, 68 tomato seeds, awesome. Might as well plant a few more tomato plants here since it's raining. I didn't get around to replanting in between episodes. So we'll just plant all in here. I'll just keep, oh, and it stopped raining. That always happens. All right, let's harvest this as well. More food for our salads. Awesome. Let's see what this is at. In bloom strawberry plants. Not quite ready to harvest yet. Um, 
doesn't look like we have anything else here. Oh, we have some potatoes. I think we will wait on these to go to seed bearing. Because we don't really need more food right now. We've got lots of food. Alright, so let's take a look. We've got 34 tomatoes. So we can make quite a few things of tomato juice. Uh, let's just drop off these seeds. And some broccoli seeds. 48 broccoli seeds. Nice. And there's 16 broccoli. Lots and lots of food now. That spring has arrived. We're hungry, so we'll go ahead and eat half of our salad. Head over to the kitchen, grab some empty bottles. Uh, empty bottles. Alright, let's just pick them all up. And let's start juicing some. So let's pop open our skills again here. Take a look at our cooking skill. We're at 1282. Let's see what we got here. We'll juice eight bottles of tomato juice. Let's see what that puts our XP at for cooking. That's great, eight bottles. That's a good harvest. Okay, let's toss those back up there. So we're now up to 12 bottles of tomato juice and up to almost halfway to level six on cooking. Fantastic. Let's add some tomato to the salad to 46, nice. And we'll add some tomato, uh, just the rest of that one. Okay, so we'll keep the tomato on us. Uh, potato will keep on us. How many broccoli do we have on us? We have six on us. Okay, so these can go in the fridge. Lots of potatoes in there. Had a suggestion to start using some cabbage as a um, bait for our traps. Not sure how many cabbages we have planted right now. We might want to plant some more. Let's see. What's this broccoli? We have a lot of broccoli planted right now. I don't think we have a lot of cabbage though. It's mostly broccoli. Okay, so I'll be planting some more cabbage uh, in between episodes if I can remember to. Um, I don't think we have any cabbage right now, though. We could take some uh, peanut butter and worms down to the traps, though. Let's take a few worms. Let's go inside, grab our peanut butter, and we'll head out to our traps. Because uh, they don't have any bait on them right now. We could reset those. Peanut butter, we should have at least one in here. Yeah, we got two, perfect. Uh, I'll bring both of them just in case the one's almost empty. All right, let's head out to the traps. See what kind of zombie situation there is back there. Shouldn't be too bad. Hop up our sheet rope onto the catwalk. I think we're going to breed some more cows today. I guess our... The couple baby cows that we had, they disappeared. I think in the uh, latest Hydrocraft update. I think there was an issue with the breeding of the cows. So maybe when that was fixed, uh, we apparently lost our baby cows. So... We'll have to breed some more and try feeding them, see if uh, we can get them to grow into adults. Uh, we're probably also going to try and forage for some more animal, different types of animal poop. Maybe we can do some hunting today too. Uh, so we'll add a worm to this bird trap. Add some peanut butter to this box trap. Worm. Peanut butter and a worm. 
can make some more traps too. Right, we got one zombie here. We'll take care of her. Very good. I wonder if anyone's hanging out in these sheds. I haven't been out here in a long time. Not that there's anything in here. You probably grabbed everything, hey? Yeah. Alright, let's head back. I think there was a little bit of a gunshot there, too. No. A crawler? What are you doing over here, sir? What's a crawler doing out all the way out here? Huh? I do have a few zombies lurking around. A compass, a maggot. Don't need a compass. Okay, let's hop back up here. Do a little bit of foraging. We'll head to bed. Be nice to be able to find some uh, different types of scat. All we've had luck in finding so far is uh, cow poop and deer poop. Got a, a fair bit of deer poop. Uh, just go foraging down the line here. There's some more deer poop. Oh, can hear some zombies on the wall there. Uh, we can take a look at that in the morning. I'll have to make it through two sets of walls though. Before they can get to us. So I'm not too worried. Uh, not finding anything over here. There we go. There's a patch. Got some stuff. More cow poop. Uh, let's see here. Oh, some sheep poop. Ooh. Maybe we can get a sheep. We could get a couple sheep. Well, now that if if we could get w at least one sheep, then we can feed it, get some more sheep poop, and then uh, we can start breeding sheep and start going down some, uh, doing some weaving on our loom and stuff. Cool. All right, we're gonna make a bunch, a couple bunches of berries out of that. Eat this berry. We should try our uh, nutcracker on these hickory nuts too. All right, let's uh, let's get to bed here. Climb up a sheep rope. Find ourselves a bed to sleep in, and we're gonna see if we can track down a sheep in the morning. Hopefully we can find one and then we can start feeding it, get some more sheep poop and add some more animals to our farm. Okay, so we're going to need our dog, our Bernese, and some rope. Grab this guy. Actually, let's drop off all this foraging materials first. Uh, yes, yeah, so we got 11 deer poop plus uh, this one, 12. Yeah, we got lots of deer poop. Uh, I don't think, yeah, we'll hold off on hunting. We don't really need the food right now. Alright, this is getting pretty full with foraged materials. We got a good supply for whatever we want to do down the road. Pillbug, red clay, I'll put that away later. Sheep poop will keep on us. Uh, the straw will keep on us for feeding a sheep if we can find one. Actually, didn't find that many things. All right, let's put that away, and we'll put the stone away in a second. Okay, let's grab our burnies. Let's head over to the shed to grab a bit of rope. Unless I have some on the pack dog. Oh, I got lots of the pack dog. All right, let's uh, try and find a sheep here. Track lost sheep. 
Fingers crossed. <gasps> Did we find one? No, we didn't. Ah, too bad. Too bad. All right. Well, we'll keep looking for some more sheep poop. It's good. It's nice to know that we can actually find it now. Put the binoculars away. Uh, let's drop this straw off. Ah, uh, no, we'll keep the straw. Let's go breed uh, some cows. Quite hungry too, so we'll have some more of our salad. Eat half of that. Put this peanut butter in our pack dog. Okay. Grab the cow. Head inside to our other female cow. Breed cows. What do we want to go for? A male or a female? We'll go for one of each. Try that again. Alright, there's a, a male. And let's breed a female. There we go. There we go. Baby cow, baby cow, pick those up. Let's put this male cow down. Just sit, sit there. All right, let's put these guys out here. Baby, baby, baby cow, there we go. And a female. All right, so I've got what I got here. Three things of straw. All right, let's feed the female cow. All three. Let's go grab some more grass or something for them. Let's see how many units it takes before they, they grow up. Let's solve this mystery. Okay. Let's see here. Got lots of grass. I'll just grab a bunch of grass. Should be more than enough. Back over there. Should probably keep some grass just out in the uh, barn. Should make a shelf. Alright, so let's uh, see here. Can I not feed them grass? Or am I out of water? I think I'm out of water. Yep. Yeah. Alright. Gotta go grab some water now. I think I'll just grab a bucket of uh, tainted water we could use. They don't care. Alright. Grab this. And we'll head back one more time. So we've got a uh, we got a name for our uh, our steel sword that someone had left in the comments. We're gonna call it the Gatekeeper, guys. Sounds like a cool name. Uh, so that's five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Are we out of water now? Did it drink all our water? No? How come I can't feed them more? Did it take all that grass? No, we got lots of grass. What? How come we can't continue feeding this? Let's go to ranching. Uh, feed. Baby sheep, baby cow, baby cow. What do we need? Uh, baby cow female. What's going on here? We have all the ingredients. Why can't we feed them? What's going on? We can feed this guy. Oh, maybe is she full? So I was 10. Okay. 
Now, do, do we just have to wait now? All right, well, let's try this one. Feed all 10. All right, they're fed. What all this cow poop we have? Let's take all this stuff inside. All right, well, we fed them 10 each. Um, maybe we have to wait a little bit? Not sure. We'll find out soon enough, I guess. All right, let's drop off uh, all this stuff in our pack dog. Let's see here, we got chipstone, we got some gray clay, that can go up here. Uh, we've got uh, red clay, that can go over here. Got ropes and pallets can go over here. There we go. Let's see. This chipstone we can put over by the uh, mine. If I can find the door, there we go. Uh, that is pretty full. That shelf. I've just been dropping stuff off on the floor now. We'll have to make some more storage for our stones and let's see here can we rename this? no we can't unfortunately we can't rename it alright poop 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 put all that in there nice okay well let's uh, get to bed we're gonna have to fill up uh, some water in the morning and then should we, uh, I guess we could head back and check the traps. Maybe we should do that. Alright, let's, uh, let's see here. Let's unpack those. Fill up our water bottles. Oh, part of the routine. Okay. One water bottle. We'll do three bottles. Yeah, that's good enough. Okay, let's go uh, check our traps again. Drop off this water bucket too. Let's see what kind of animals we've caught today. Uh, this grass can go in there too. Eat some berries. Awesome, let's go. Move out. Oh, we got strawberries ready to harvest too. Are they seed bearing? Yes, they are. <laughs> oh, God. We're just constantly harvesting. All right, let's harvest some strawberries. Another skill point. Still waiting for those potatoes to go to seed bearing. How many strawberries we have? 28, we can juice some strawberries. All right, let's juice some strawberries. Nice, if we make a bunch of berries, there we go. Out of the rest, 84 strawberry seeds, wow. I got a lot of planting to do in between episodes. Okay, jump that off. Juicer away. All right, let's go check these traps. We do not want for food at the moment. Between trapping, our cows, our farm. These are doing good. Let me just see if this zombie's still over here knocking. Oh yeah, there he is. Let's take care of them. All right, fall down, please. Now stop knocking on the wall. You're annoying, sir. Thank you. All right.
How many worms do we have left? Nine. Perfect. So if we have caught some stuff, we can reset them. Let's pop it over our skill tab. Trapping, trapping, trapping. It's so low. Man, we need to find a uh, trapping for a beginner's book. Or I need to head back up to Drayton and grab it. Check the trap. Did we get anything? We got a bird. Awesome. Uh, unpack these worms. And this peanut butter. More gunshots. Right, worm there. Uh, nothing there. Check trap. Another bird, probably. Another bird, another bird, another bird. Awesome. Toss a worm on there. So how do we know if the bait has been taken from these? Like, should I just keep adding more bait to them, if it has the option to? Check that. Nice. Worm. And I had another suggestion uh, for us to maybe turn some of our trapped animals into jerky, homemade jerky, instead of salting or cooking them up on the fire. So I think that's what we'll end the episode off today with. Making some marinade and... I assume we can make uh, jerky out of the uh, the birds. Let's jump up here. We'll butcher these birds. There we go. Put that knife back in there. Head over to the kitchen. Try and do a little bit of cooking, maybe each episode. Since we have all this food now. Alright, so let's pop open our menu here. Head over to cooking. Jerky. Make simple jerky. Yeah, we can make it with small bird meat. Okay, so we'll need some basic marinade. Uh, or we can make some tasty marinade. Alright, so let's uh, favor both of these. Okay, look up our marinades. So for a basic marinade, we'll need uh, a jar lid, a jar with lid, uh, some soy sauce, salt, barbecue sauce, or a bowl of barbecue sauce. And then to make it a tasty marinade, we just add some pepper and garlic powder. Okay, let's favor both of those. Pop that down there. Okay, so we'll grab a jar. Uh, we got some barbecue sauce here. Let's take that. Jar, jar, jar. I know we have tons of jars. Yep, yeah, 28. Okay, we got a jar. We got that. Soy sauce. We don't have any soy sauce though, guys. Oh, we need soy sauce. Hmm. Never mind. Can we make soy sauce? I don't think so. No. Huh. Okay. So we can't make any jerky right now. We need to hit up some of those restaurants. Find some soy sauce. Well, maybe that's what we'll, uh, we can attempt to do today. Or, uh, to end this episode then. Let's put this stuff back. Uh, so what should we do with the bird meat? It'll last for four days. Let's uh, put it in the fridge for now. If we don't find anything soon, we'll uh, just salt that stuff. Alright, where's this other stuff? Where's the barbecue sauce? Let's put that back. Okay, so we need soy sauce. Put the peanut butter in there. Uh, I don't need all these ripped sheets right now. Had those for making the uh, log walls. I'll put the strawberry juice up here. 
Well, let's see here. We're already at about half an hour. Maybe we'll we'll save going to uh, find some soy sauce until next episode. I think we'll end this one here for today. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Got a little bit of farming, a little bit of trapping, a little bit of uh, animal breeding done today. Some uh, general farm tasks. Yeah. So uh, tasks for me to do in between episodes. Priority is to get the uh, garden replanted. I'll start uh, work on that right now before I forget. In the next episode, we'll come back and uh, we'll go on a hunt for some soy sauce. So thanks a lot for watching, guys. Until next time, I'll talk to you all later. Oh.